Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for LinkedIn. Let's get right on into it. I'm going to give you a few examples. Some will be off the top of my head, some won't, but you'll see as we go. So I need help writing a LinkedIn post. I've noticed when I've been using ChatGPT, I'll actually talk to it like it's a person. I don't know. I just think it's funnier to do that way, or at least be more specific about it in the process. This post is specifically about looking to hire someone to help with video editing. This person needs to have experience, plenty of results, and they can send me a message for more information. So LinkedIn is huge when it comes to business and doing business deals. So it's not very rare to see someone say like, hey, I'm looking to hire someone with this specific job. Very popular with businesses, right? So let's click on this arrow here and see what we get. Attention all video editors, we're currently on the lookout for a talented individual to join our team. If you have a proven track record of producing high quality video content, we want to hear from you. Please send us a message for more information and to show us your portfolio of work. So short and sweet, perfect. What you can do, in case you're not familiar, write another, okay? And I'm going to talk while this hopefully loads quickly. I know it's been loading very slowly lately and I'm still talking and it still hasn't loaded, but <laughs> I'll keep going either way. Um, this is just something that you can do with pretty much any type of content if it makes sense. You know, if you get a headline, if you get a sentence, if you get a phrase, you can just ask it to write another one for you. You know, there's pretty much just doing the same thing as regenerating content, but uh, let's wait for it to load for a sec and then I'll talk about it. All right, so we're growing our video production team and in search of a skilled video editor to help bring our vision to life. If you have a passion for video editing, a strong portfolio, portfolio and experience in the industry, we would love to connect with you. Please send us a message and so on and so forth. Good. So a couple of good examples when it comes to looking for someone to hire for any specific reason, whatever it might be. Another common LinkedIn post is going to be sharing an article since there's a lot of businesses on there, business owners, business helpers, uh, affiliate managers. I've noticed they like posting helpful articles that obviously other businesses or potential customers can read. So let's talk about, say you just created a new article and you want to put a nice little post to help maybe get more clicks. Allow me to write that for you in terms of a prompt. Okay, so I need help writing a LinkedIn post. This post is specifically about a new article that I just wrote called 20 Ways to Increase Your Sales. Talk about how excited I was to create this, why people are going to love it, and a few more details, kind of like a grab bag here. Let's see what else they write and uh, let's write this overall. I get so excited to share my latest article. I poured my heart and soul into creating this piece, and I truly believe it will be a valuable resource for anyone looking to boost their sales. From tried and true techniques to innovative strategies, this article is packed with actionable tips that will help you increase your sales and grow your business. If you're ready to take your sales game to the next level, be sure to check it out. So let's say be sure to check it out is like a very weak call to action. I would say something like click the button below. So let's have it add a call to action. All right, add a call to action that I can use with this previous LinkedIn post about my article. All right, so I probably should have been a little bit more specific. This is a perfect example of better input equals better output. I added add a call to action. And if you look at the bottom, it says like, don't, uh, where's it hesitate to reach out to me. So I was really looking for like clicking a button. So let's be more specific so we can get that. So give me a call to action that talks about clicking on a link to read the article. All right, perfect. So it talks about want to increase your sales, uh, check out the latest article, and then click on the link to read and discover new strategies and actionable tips that will help you boost your sales and grow your business. Great. That's why I love doing these demos. You can kind of learn on the fly as I go. Uh, but this is something I bring up so many times is that the more specific you are with your input, the more specific you'll get with your output, which is the results. Okay. So I think I can do one more. Let's just say running a contest. First thing come to my mind. Uh, give me a second and I will create a post prompt for that. Okay, so I came up with this off the top of my head. Once again, I need help writing a LinkedIn post. This post is specifically about a content, content, contest, contest that I am going to be running. Write a few paragraphs talking about how I'm looking for the best idea to increase my sales and whoever gives the best tip will win $500. All right, so let's read this as it goes. Calling all sales experts. I'm excited to announce a contest where I'm looking for the best idea to increase my sales. This winner, the winner, will receive $500 and be recognized as a sales pro. I believe that the best ideas come from a variety of perspectives, so I'm reaching out to my network to see what you have to offer. If you have a tip, strategy, or approach that you've used to increase sales, I want to hear about it. To participate, simply comment on this post with your idea and use the hashtag uh, hashtag sales content. 
I'll be reviewing all the entries and announcing the winner in one week. So put your thinking caps on and let's boost those sales together and a few hashtags. So overall, great. Uh, like I said, you could be a little bit more specific if you want to write even more so that there's more details in terms of like, hey, I want to increase my traffic on this social media platform or on my website or with SEO. Obviously, that's going to be up to you. But I hope you enjoyed this video when it comes to using uh, how to use ChatGPT for LinkedIn. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.